Boats have been a part of Ned McHenry's life since he was a kid growing up on the coast near Geelong. And he never wastes an opportunity to take to the water for some R&R. &R. More often than not, with a teammate. Ned, tell me about your pride and joy here. Yeah, Val, this is my North Bank 600C, so it's my little fishing boat and um, yeah, little, I got... Little fishing boat. Well, it's little in context to some of the other boats okay. that are around here, but um, yeah, it's, it's our fishing boat that we go out in and um, on days off and days after footy we get to go out there and catch some fish, so I love it. What does a day out on the boat mean to you? It's just a, an amazing outlet for me. It's, it's a great thing to do after training or after games of footy. Um, it obviously takes my mind off footy and I get off my screen and, and get to go out on the water and take take friends and, and guys out that don't usually get to do it very often. So um, I love it. Yeah, it's something that means a lot to me. What are your favourite spots in South Australia to fish and what's your favourite fish? Favourite fish down here to catch is probably the tuna run over summer. So um, I think I've dropped some tuna off to your house before, yeah, but there's a, a lot of tuna <laughs> down at Victor Harbour. So I take the boys down there and we go and catch tuna. Um, but otherwise it's probably whiting and squid and hopefully snapper after the band's over. We did see you go fishing with Riley O'Brien and Cozzy earlier in the year and it seemed to tire Rob out. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We went out with Cozzy on, on his show and caught some tuna that day, but yeah, Riley for some reason, whatever it is, I think it's the rocking motion in the water or whatever, but he gets really tired. He's like a big, like big a two metre baby. Yeah. He falls asleep in the chair and unless there's absolute mayhem going on with fish, he, it's hard to get him up. So um, we got a few tuna in the end that day, so it woke him up, but it was very funny. Oh, the ball never went out, did it? played almost every game this season. How have you personally seen your performance? It's been okay. There's been some areas of my footy that I've, I've thought of being consistent, but there's other areas of growth that obviously I want to keep getting better with and, and keep trying to improve at the level. So um, yeah, I'm really grateful to play a, a fair bit of footy still for the club this year, um, but always looking to improve, so hopefully we can do that. Any goals for the rest of the season and on that, any fishing goals? With my footy goals, I, there's obviously still a few games left to go in the, in the season, so I think it's really important that I, I want to be a, a member of that group that gets a few really, really good wins and finishes off the, the end of the year really strongly. And from a fishing front after footy, hopefully getting down to Port McDonald or somewhere and catching a big, big barrel tuna would be awesome. Or maybe um, hooking the boat up and going up to the Port Lincoln or somewhere up the Air Peninsula would be pretty cool. So that's the plan. Thanks for having us today, Ned. You've certainly taught me a thing or two about fishing. No worries, Belle. Thanks for coming and having a look at the boat. <laughs>